Welcome back to the last in our series relating to Job. We have spent the last few weeks here looking at how we can see and find our story in Job's story as well. Today we're ending talking about the new perspective Job has on life. It's kind of a continuation from last week where we saw that Job finally gets an answer from God after all of these many chapters, after all of his friends' speeches, after his replies to them, God finally comes to him and answers him out of the whirlwind and tells him, hey, look, I am God and you are not. But again, we get a similar sort of thing here. And perhaps what I would say is the most difficult way for us to relate to Job initially. I'll share more with you in a little bit. So at the end of the book of Job in chapter 42, it says, Job answered the Lord. So he's responded again to him. God comes again in a second speech, right? And Job responds to this to God. It's very similar to the first one, but maybe slightly different here. Job says, I know that you can do all things. No purpose of yours can be thwarted. You asked, who is this who darkens counsel without knowledge? But I have declared without understanding things too wonderful for me to know. You said, pay attention and I will speak. I will question you and you will answer me. I had heard you by the hearing of the ear, but now my eye has seen you. Therefore, I despise myself and I repent in dust and ashes. And so now we get that full-throated confession from Job. Look, you were right, God. I despise myself, I repent in dust and ashes. And so Job says, look, I have nothing to say. I have nothing else to do. And how does God respond to him? Well, it says, The Lord restored to Job all that he had lost after he prayed for his friends. And the Lord doubled all that had belonged to Job. So they came to him, all his brothers and sisters and all who had known him before, and they dined with him in his house. They comforted him, consoled him for all the trouble the Lord had brought upon him. And each one gave him a piece of silver and a gold ring. And so what's the new perspective that Job has? Well, it's the perspective that, again, he, rem- he remembers his place in God's world that he doesn't have God's understanding, that what God sets out to do cannot be changed or thwarted, that it is his will alone that is done here on earth. Just like we pray in the Lord's Prayer, Lord, let your will be done. What does Luther write? Certainly God's will is done without our prayers, but we pray in this petition that it would be done among us also. But then the most difficult thing for me in the book of Job, I imagine for you too, Job gets it all back. He does. Job gets it all back and more. And that's challenging for you, for me. Because as we look at Job, as we look at his life, we see someone who lost everything, who endured the difficulty of friends that were the exact opposite to him, who endured a very harsh word from God of putting him in his place. But then at the end of the story, there is finally something good for him. He finally gets something back, if you will. That he's not just scolded by everyone and even his creator and then left to just be, but instead he gets double of what he had before. In some ways, the book of Job is a story with a happy ending, isn't it? And that's what makes it difficult. Because in this life, Job got to have a happy ending. But you and I both know that we don't always get those happy endings. That as we look at Job and his suffering, that we say, okay, God, you're right. This isn't about me, that I'm wrong to call out to you and tell you you're doing it wrong, that you are God and I'm not, that even if we pray those words and mean those things that God does not and has not promised us, that he's going to restore everything that's been broken or taken away from us. That in this life, those loved ones we've lost are not going to come back now. That the consequences of our sin are still here. 
that even the result of bad decisions we made go with us every single day. And so what are we to do with that? I think there's one place that we can go. One place would be to look and say, well, there are instances when God does restore. There is healing. With God, all things are possible in the sense that any broken relationships, any consequences, some of those can be forgiven and wiped clean. But what I think the book of Job points us to ultimately is the future day. The future day. The day in which the world that we know will be changed to be the new heavens and the new earth. That the broken things that we see will be no more. Ultimately, what the book of Job points us to forward to is a better day. Is the storybook sort of ending that we all so desire because of what Jesus has done for us on the cross and in the empty tomb. That yes, is there a day in which God will restore to you your loved ones who have died in the faith? Absolutely. Absolutely. Is there a day in which your broken body will no longer be the bane of your existence because you will have a brand new resurrection body made perfect? Certainly. And in so many ways is the new heavens and the new earth beyond any vision of the good life we could have here on earth? 200%. And so as we look to Job... As we relate to him in his new perspective, I would posit to you and challenge you that maybe how we relate to Job is not expecting God to make everything better this side of heaven, but that instead points and directs our hearts, our minds, and our very souls to look forward to the future day of the restoration of all things. That day when Jesus himself will come to wipe away the tear out of your eye. That, I think, is what Job points us towards as we end our time with him. Let me pray for you as we close our time together today. Lord Jesus, we give you thanks and praise for what you have done in your life, your death, your resurrection, that you came to earth for us, that you came to die and arise, that we might have eternal life, but most importantly, that you might set right in this world those things that are wrong, that you might give to us the hope of a future day when all will be made new because you have returned. So as we look to Job and see ourselves in his story, Help us to have that new perspective too, even in the midst of our own difficulties as well. Help us to see that there is a storybook ending that is better than we could ever ask, think, or imagine. And as we wait for that day, give us the endurance, give us the faith that we need to pursue it, give us the faith that we need to cling to it in all things. Lord Jesus, we trust you with all that we have, with all that we are. And so we pray this all in your perfect and holy name. Amen. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. It helps other people find this channel. And by finding it, helps them find Jesus. God be with you this day. We'll see you on the next one.